into the middle pocket. Crafty one. Oh, what a shot. I don't think they were dead on either. One. And I guess he felt there wasn't an awful lot of risk attached. Could only stick the red that he was playing. Yeah, he had to make that into a plant. It wasn't in line. Well, that's one way to get in amongst them, isn't it? This is a key shot coming Eight. up, though. Just off straight. Has to disturb other reds here, but he's got to get the cue ball onto a colour. It's Nine. a very good shot. Oh, that's uh, where O'Sullivan is brilliant. Within a couple of shots, he's quickly giving himself a good chance. Fifteen. Twenty. Chose to play on that red to free the black to both corners. 21. Very much looking at winning this frame in one visit. A slight angle on this. Could go into them. Change his mind. Change his mind down on the shot there. He was aiming low on the cue ball at first. Not recommended. 28. Changing your mind once you're down, but there's no ill effect there. 29. I think this time he might have to consider going into them though. I don't think he likes the shape of the pack all that much. He doesn't think he's certainly to be on one. He's got something to the middle. 36. I can see why he was reluctant for the, the shot before. Seven. Once again, does he play on a loose red or does he just nudge into the pink and disturb a few more? great players over the years but there's nobody who's looked at a better player in and amongst the balls at the black end of the table than O'Sullivan yes. just oozes class 44. beautiful Not 50 an easy shot to get onto a colour from this if he's queuing awkwardly Stewart left the table, didn't think that he'd left anything, never mind a possibly losing the frame. The opening plant was a good one. 58. <coughs> Difficult to see O'Sullivan failing to clinch the frame at this visit. Fifty-nine. <coughs> Just a red and a colour needed. Sixty-five. Sixty-six. <laughs> and now, a 
O'Sullivan can continue his pursuit of 72. Stephen Hendry's record number of centuries. 775. 74. O'Sullivan is on 756. So it shouldn't be long before he overtakes the seven times world champion. Seventy nine. Yeah, so whether it's in the century or not, it's been such a good break. The last shot suggests it will end in the century. Beautiful queuing, came from nothing. Eighty five. One or two problems along the way, he's got over those. Eighty six. And uh, it's not like he's not been put under pressure in this match, but Stewart's played well. He won frames two and three and looked like he was hitting the ball really well himself, but Sullivan has stepped up. Number seven five seven. Well, that should be broken this season. If we see a lot of O'Sullivan, I guess that record. The rate he knocks them in. Of course, Neil Robertson made over a hundred centuries last season, but Ronnie doesn't play in as many tournaments as that. But, but uh, it's easy to make them if you do play in all those tournaments. <laughs> The break has started with a plant which had to be made, the right middle. He developed it into a run of 115. O'Sullivan leads by three frames to two. Frame six. Stuart Bingham to break. <coughs> so Bingham has got to win the two remaining frames to snatch a victory over the five times world champion. to see long queues at the box office this morning and uh, I'm sure that nobody here has been disappointed with the quality of this contest see what he actually did try there because the red up the table is always going to cause him problems in getting back to bulk but uh, it couldn't have worked out any worse yeah, I'm not certain what he played there well I think not as thick a contact if he'd hit it thinner the cue ball would have gone past the green and red one Three. Three. 
kind of shot. Not exactly how he played it. from a seven thinking he might have believed he missed that and you know, he just made it no. shot here he might try and get in behind the red and black to pop the black into the same pocket as the red he's taking now Just when he thought that he was on his way. Nine. Last couple of shots, reds into that pocket, both a bit edgy. Well, that was a real lapse of concentration. This was a sitter by the standards of a top player. One. From the cut red, Bingham decided to go straight into the pack, assuming he would have a, a reasonable shot at a colour. I think if he was confident, he'd knock the blue in with the red there, but he knows if he misses it, it could be his last shot this year. This uh, champion of champions, he did so well in last year. He's got to go in. Bit of pressure. Stuart yeah. Bingham won. Bit of tension got into his arm there. Settle for that, red to the left middle, get on the blue and then you look at the table after that and not very much looks difficult on the way O'Sullivan's been playing. This shot though might be the last awkward one. Didn't have great queuing there. Fifteen. He'd love to get the red to the left of the black out of the way but it doesn't leave much that will stop him. Ready to play, Don. Twenty. Twenty-one. We just caught a glimpse of Bingham there, giving a rueful scowl. I think he's fearing the worst. He'd be quite pleased at the pink. Doesn't spot. It just gives him more room around the pink spot to play with. Thirty-six. That wasn't one of his best. That's just a slightly poor angle on the black. 
looking for a glimmer of hope for Stuart Bingham, it would be that this shot could go wrong. Hit it well. Very well. 43. Forty-four. Just had a quick glance at the scores. He needs another red after this black. Well, it's been a very entertaining match. This I think Stuart Bingham's played well, but just once 51. or twice was found wanting, and it is only once or twice. The overall standard has been 52. very good. I really enjoyed this one, Clive. Yes, it's only been a shot here and there which has made the difference. Fifty-seven. Very high standard of break making. Hundred and seven and sixty-two from Bingham in the two frames that he won. Sixty, eighty-three, hundred and fifteen. 65. And now 66. This effort of 66 so far from O'Sullivan. Every frame a 60 plus break. 71. <laughs> 72. Sullivan has shown that he's in fine fettle for the defence of his champion of champions title. Seventy-eight. Yes, he's got the best of seven frame match out of the way against a player who's beaten him before. Of course, whoever he plays this evening, it's going to be equally as tough, but it's a longer match, and he'll get to eighty-three to feel that he can really bed into the tournament. Yes, he'll be playing either Sean Murphy or Marco Fu, who meet in the afternoon second match. 88. Sullivan finishes 